So let's turn it over to the panel right now. Uh, bands that broke up too early. Dave? Yeah. Dave, we'll start. I'll, I'll go with, can I give a couple? I would like to give you a couple. I'd like to say, uh, I'd like to say the Black Crows. Um, I'd like to say, uh, well, hold on, hold on. You can't just say it and continue. Yeah. Give oh, I thought reason. the show was just saying it and then not commenting on it. It'd be so much easier. <laughs> That's what we've been That's doing a long six day. Seven episodes. It's been a long yeah. day of trying not to work on Winnipeggers. Um, what do you think Lon would say if you just did that and moved on? He'd, oh, he'd be he'd all over a, me, dude. He's the biggest critic it. in the world. Siskel, yeah, Ebert, and Lon. Big on your face. Siskel, <laughs> Ebert, and Lon. Dr. Lon. Um, <laughs> yeah, Black Crows. I mean, there there's a band that I thought could have continued and done a lot more albums, and they now they're getting back, you know, back in the happies, and they're uh, and they have some new music, and there is supposedly they rumor. Still of a went new like album. twenty years though, man. Like, okay, I mean, still, yeah. still. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, yeah, like five. It's not enough. No, they got about eight or nine. Really? Uh, you guys got to read Steve Gorman's book. Eight, he was the drummer for Black too Crows. Many in my opinion, but guys. Okay, well, how many albums does the Monks have? There's a band I would have loved to see those. <laughs> nice those legs. Shame, shame about, about face. face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a real good one. This is the dynamite one for me is, is Buffalo Springfield. You know, and everybody Explain. went on to do their thing, but they had two albums and they were a big band. They were invited on the, on the Tonight Show and everything. They were a big, big deal. They had a big deal. They ran across the country. They uh, they <laughs> never ended up. I'm gonna uh, say that Bloodful Springsfield was never on the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, they know, but I mean, that's not Invited. like people. Are, hey, listen, stop <laughs> busting my spots, dude. All I'm doing is bullshitting. I didn't prepare today. No, Buffalo Springfield <laughs> never really had any big thing. They had uh, a couple hits for it, for what it's worth, and they were a really good band, and they really were. And Neil Young says they never really had the good sound in their studio recordings. He thought that held them back. Oh, but there was a band that was surprisingly big in the Hollywood LA scene. And then just faded away. But then everybody became a, a you know, Neil and Steels at least became, you know, pretty big names, right? So it all worked okay. out for them. All right. They're all right. Rival? I got more. Come back to I, me. I got, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 you know, a few, like the Beatles, obviously, you want, everyone wants the Beatles, wish the Beatles did more. Uh, the Police, for sure, you know, five albums. They could have done more, but at the same Eight time. Eight albums. Uh, what? What, huh? What, but seriously, like five, you know, they, they're kind of like at that point they were starting to go, you know, they sounded more like staying. They obviously had their issues. So, I mean, I mean, it's hard to say, like, should they have done more and continued with their uh, toxic relationship or should they have just continued on? Uh, Cream is a big one because they were, oh, yeah. you know, they were only together for two or three years, three albums. Uh, you know, Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum, one of my favorites for sure. Obviously, uh, Free Salamander Exhibit. I'm sure you guys agree with that one. Uh, Rob did Pistols. research this week. <laughs> <laughs> Sex Pistols for sure, but at the same time, what's more punk than only making one album and everyone like you Great never call. even get to hear anymore? It's like Great. you we only got one album. So that's shitty. all you get. That's all you yeah. get. That's all you get. That's all you get. Um, but one of the biggest ones was uh, Trio of Doom, which was uh, Jocko Pistorius, John McLaughlin, and Tony Williams. And they played one gig and then did one session and re recorded sort of half an album, basically. And they hated each other. Tony Williams wanted to like, just kill Jocko for just going <laughs> crazy and doing his own thing. Uh, but they could have been... Those three are the three the most at the time with the most craziest talented best musicians ever leader of the pack couldn't do it they just they they just had to yeah. fight about it and that was it and i don't even know if their albums are good i've only really listened to maybe listened to it a couple times it's all right but it, it, it should have been great <laughs> they fought maybe. like true artists they fought like good enough. Artists. Good yeah. enough for us at Winnipeggers. <laughs> totally. They were like the, the John Lennon, uh, you yeah. know, Paul McCartney's uh, Sting, Stuart Copeland kind of thing. Right. right? So um, I'll, I'll pick up with that. And there's some good ones in there. I'm, I'm going to definitely compound on the police because the police broke up uh, basically at the height of their powers. Uh, the, the last gig ever, I believe, in the States was at Shea Stadium in New York City. So Obviously, those emotions and bills continue. Ten years, pretty. <laughs> Can I talk Dave? now? 
Dave and I are just going to text each other and uh, talk about it. You know what? I don't care what you guys say. It's still going on mine. So you can make you can make jokes. You can make toilet all you want. But, uh, <laughs> go f- your ass. So the police police <laughs> broke up at the highlight. Uh, you know what? There you go. Here's what we do right now. Yeah, boom. There you go. So the police uh, uh, broke up kind of at the height of their powers. Uh, their last gig was at the Shea Stadium. And you wish they could have played more because I feel had they just kind of uh, gotten a little bit further past Sting's <laughs> solo projects uh, uh, and, and sort of so on and so on, they could have a lot bigger history. Uh, for, for Heavy Metal, I'm going to say this. You guys know this, but no one's going to bring it up. Kick Axe. Kick Axe should not have fucking had all the shit that happened to them. They've never had a bad song. Every song on the three Kick Axe records are all good. Ribo? I can't hear you at all. I don't. I don't know what happened really? now. You're really good when you're by yourself. It was awesome. Can you hear me, guys? <laughs> no, I can't hear you. No. Dave, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. I can hear no. you. No. Dave, can you hear him? Yes. All right. So, Kick Axe should never have broken up. That's one of my favorite all-time bands. Okay. Every song is great, yeah. and uh, I think uh, it, had they done more records, it would have been better. Ribo's frozen right now. <laughs> what do you guys think of the show so far? This is great. You you guys are the fucking assholes here. I've been doing great. I can hear both of you. Well, you can see yourself perfectly. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. and I can see you perfectly too. Okay, it's the Ribo? bottom of the ninth, game five, easy. Okay. Can you hear us, Ribo? Yes, he can hear us. Ryan, you can't hear us. We're out live here. Just. Ugh. I hope are you it's playing a, a I game? hope it's a bit because it's about a twelve second thing he's doing. Yeah, take yourself out and put yourself back in. All right. You know what? Listen, much like the Beatles, uh, we got little, other bands to discuss. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So anyway, what do you think about Kick Axe? I think every word they did was really, really good. Who did you say there? You cut out. Kick, kick Axe. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, Kick Axe had that. The, the, the Vices album was just the, per, it was almost a perfect album, I would think. So they, it was strange. But did they really break up? Like they just kept, they, they're together now. And they were together in the 90s. Well, they, they basically got run out of the business by bad management. It's like Streetheart should have been bigger as well. Like if, if you say bands that broke up too early or bands that should have been bigger, it's a fine it, line. It's a right? two, those are two different things. Yeah, I think so. There, there is a fine line for sure. How about the faces? You, well, I mean, the, yeah, yeah, well, the thing is, the, the faces begat Rod Stewart, right? So sure. did they break up or did Rod just get too big and leave? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, it, and that's that's a big part of it as well. <laughs> 